All right, YouTube. Another video to all y'all beta males out there. This is about to be y'all damn future. So I'm about to tell another story of some other shit that happened when I was a fucking beta male. And um, I think I was about, I was either 17 or 18. So I either just graduated uh, college, just graduated high school or about to graduate. So, <clears throat> so anyways, I was online. I forgot what website it was. It was like one of these little apps, like one of these little dating apps a long time ago. And um, I ran across a girl. I'm not, I'll just say her name is Kiki. It ain't really her name. But anyway, so I met Kiki online. Um, You know, texted back and forth, all this stuff. Exchange numbers, okay, everything cool. She liked my picture, and uh, you know all that. Liked her picture, you know she was fire, whatever, cool. So we were talking on there for for some months. I don't know how many it was because this is like seven years ago or something like that. So seven or eight years ago. Anyways, talking for some months, exchange, you know, exchange numbers. So he's actually texting. She, you know, she sent pictures. You know, I had my nudes, all that. You know, exchanging all that. Thought I had game, even though I was simping, but. Anyway, so um, after talking for months, we eventually met up. She lived somewhere like in the valley and I live in L.A. Well, I live close to L.A. So that's like an hour or something away, which is stupid right there. But didn't know no better. Well, I should have learned from my last lesson, which I didn't. But anyway, so one day her mom had came out here with her and she had her little brother in the car her other sister so it was a bunch of people it was like a big ass suburban or something so she picked us up and that was when i met her for the first time now i noticed she wasn't really talking to me like that like she kind of was just like some like oh maybe some like little weird shit but anyways then we went to the beach or something like that and then at one so i was with her family and uh her mom sister and all this stuff and a couple of their friends or friends of the family but they all around our age except for the mom of course but so it was one part, we went to the beach, you know, it was just me and her. Now, I did some simp shit. I tried to kiss her on the forehead and she almost, she was like, <laughs> like, she's about to throw up or something. I'm like, you good? <laughs> and the whole time I felt awkward as hell. Like, I felt super awkward. You could tell somebody ain't fucking with you, somebody don't want you. So I was just like, oh, damn, I couldn't wait to get home because that shit was just so weird. Like, everybody else was nice except for her. She was kind of like, you know, being weird as hell. So obviously she didn't like me, but through all the messages we was having, she did. So I guess in person she didn't like me. I don't know. I ain't like I catfished her. Same nigga, look the same, but I think it was a problem with like me being dark skin or some shit. She was like a little brown skin, thick type thing. But whatever, anyways. <laughs> obviously she didn't like dark skin niggas, so she probably didn't know. Cause she didn't like me video chatted before that. Anyways, long story short. After um, as she dropped me off, I was just like, okay, I'm cool. I ain't gonna even text her because I'm like, obviously she didn't like me. She didn't talk to me. She was just on some weird shit. So, and she did the thing when I tried to kiss her. Then she texted me probably like a couple days later or something, and was saying all type of shit like, you know, basically she playing playing mind games like, oh, I was trying so hard not to, not to kiss you and not to do this and that like. You know, I wanted to do all type of stuff. She basically trying to say like she was trying to trying to smash in the back of the whip. So I'm confused. I'm like 17, I believe. So I'm thinking like, wait, maybe she does like me then. Anyway, so that was just part of her little mind game, I guess, for attention or whatnot. So this went on for some more months. However many months it was before, it went on for a couple more months. And I'm just getting paid. Like she is saying nudes, all this stuff. And that's about it. I ain't never smashed. I only met her that one time in person. So I don't know why, but I fell in love with her because, you know, the pictures, she looked good and everything else. And the fact that she kept saying, you know, saying she liked me and supposedly in a relationship and all this other stuff. So I'm like, OK, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm in there. Nope. Not at all, man. I got played. She had gave me and there's one part, too. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So she ended up giving me her Instagram. Um. Her Instagram password for some reason. She was just like, you know, here so you could trust me. And I'm like, okay, I ain't never gonna use it. Cause I really never used it. Then one time I ended up using it. And um when I used it, I logged in and I saw a bunch of messages like 
you know, some weird, it's like flirting and all this other type stuff. And I'm like, okay, what is this? And then I'm like, oh, and I confronted her about it. She was just like, oh, you know, it's my cousins and or just for my cousin or whatever. So I'm like, okay, simp shit. Okay, cool, I guess. <laughs> it, um, this is then I probably like some months later, I went in our, um, her Instagram and she was trading like all type of pictures with her, um, ex and all like exes, this nigga, that nigga was a bunch of different niggas. So I'm just like, damn, bro. <laughs> And uh, I think I didn't say nothing about it. And, you know, I waited a couple of days later, logged into her account again. No, no, that's what it was. I seen all that, all that stuff. I didn't log in again. I was just like, damn, that's crazy. And then um, I just happened to get on Instagram one time, like 12 in the morning. And I seen pictures of her kissing some nigga and all this other stuff. So I was super heated, bro. Like, I was just super heated right there. Like, damn, bro, I thought we was in a relationship. I love this girl, all this shit, nigga. <laughs> and she cheated on me with a bunch of different random niggas. I'm like, oh, bro, like, nigga was sad, heartbroken. After that, oh, yeah, that's what I said, too. Before I finish this part, she was doing all type of wild shit. Oh, I'm going to go to a lingerie party. You ain't nothing to worry about. I'm like, okay. But anyways, so after that situation happened, I can, you know, texted her because i can't see her she hour away i ain't got a car at 17 and she didn't say sorry she didn't say nothing so i think mean, i was sad as fuck. i wrote like this hateful ass message and shit because i'm 17 i don't know no better i'm just like fuck it. i just wrote all my feel oh however i feel i was emotional as fuck at the situation because i'm like damn bro that's crazy and yeah i ain't gonna lie i cried like a little bitch at the time too because i was a little fucking bitch at it for females at that time like i wasn't no bitch in general just only for females so crying like a motherfucker and um i ended up getting depressed that was like one of the times i got depressed and i was depressed for a cool minute like and after that i couldn't i had no feelings for i don't know how long but i couldn't feel happy sad no, angry nothing like i couldn't feel nothing bro. i was just depressed over a female and um and I did, like, I did say some hateful stuff, which is, now as an adult, I'm just like, man, I shouldn't even be worried about it. I should have been like, okay, whatever. But at the time, that was my first time. Like, that was me. I was just, be, you know, another case of me being a nice guy, getting played and getting hurt, you know. Letting somebody walk all over me, which I didn't even think was happening. Like, I, I guess I was being naive. You feel me? I do a little something, but I should have just went with my initial gut and just said, nah, I'm cool. But I was too pussy to walk away. And I'm like, shit, she fired, bro, this, this, and that. I'm good. And she kept sending pictures to mess with a nigga head, knowing she didn't fuck with me. She was still sending pictures, talking about I love you and all this other shit. So I'm like, okay. Guess she do. Hell no, nah, she didn't. She played my ass for attention. So for all you beta males, this is what's gonna happen to you if it haven't happened already. She gonna play the fuck out of you. She ain't gonna never tell you. Like, if I if I was to see her this day and be like, hey, so you know, uh well, those guys were they really for your cousin? I know damn well now that, you know, that was her y'all. But she still wouldn't admit it. <laughs> like, even if she, even if it wasn't, I mean, even if it was, like, she would not admit that. And I seen her a couple years ago. Well, probably like three, four years ago, actually. And I was just like, you know, just on some just regular, like, all right, what's up? Like, just keep, you know, keep it moving. Hey, what's up? She was still salty about it. Like, I ran into her somewhere. I was just like, she was like, yeah, you said all this stuff and. I'm still upset, and it's now. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. I've been over that. After that, <laughs> I was already on game, and, you know, I got out of my feelings, and then, I, you know, I became savage again, and I was just working on myself, and I focused on females. But, yeah, that was another one of the times I got played and let myself get depressed and all type of stuff over a female. And, um, yeah, that's pretty bad, but. That's what's going to happen to all you beta males thinking you just got to be nice and let them walk all over you. Be a yes man. Be the friends and all this stuff. Bro, you're never going to get nowhere. You'll get a hug. You'll get a kiss on the cheek. She may even send you news just for your, just for you to keep validating her and giving her more attention. But that's all she wants from me. She never going to take you serious. I never got taken seriously by her until I became a real man and start being assertive. Start standing up for myself and stop going off of, oh, she look fire as the only thing. I had to actually, you know, put myself first. So, yeah, that's all I got, man. But feel bad for y'all beta males. But hopefully, hopefully somebody see this 
And I hopefully y'all hopefully y'all learn from my mistakes, man. Peace.